What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to batch two of the Future Stars. It is 6 p.m. and so we should now have the Future Stars batch two in uh, in packs, in game and hopefully on the loading screen unless it doesn't load. Uh, there we go. Oh, so 92 Haaland, 91 Valverde, 88 Ossiemen, 92 Martinez. That Martinez looks absolutely mental. So does that Haaland. So does that Valverde to be fair. That 88 Aussie men looks uh, pretty good as well. So what have we got? I couldn't see all of that right there, but Hudson Adoy was there. Um, let me uh, let me get EA's Twitter up so that we can have a look at what uh, what the full team is. By the looks of things, it's it's looking pretty good. Um, so we have got a 92 Haaland with mental stats, a 92 Martinez with mental stats, that 89 Palacios that looks pretty good. Hudson Odoi that looks very good. Good pace and dribbling. Good shooting and passing. Uh, 88 Tillemans looks quite nice. 88 Danny Olmo. He looks very, very generic, very basic. 88 Saar. 98 pace, 94 dribbling. Great shooting. Looks uh, good again. That 87 Tamori with mental pace and mental dribbling and good defending and physical. As a Future Stars card, th this, is, this is where the game like bothers me a little bit. Like, if you're thinking he's going to be a future star, what future star will have 85 defending and 85 physical? I don't know. Uh, 87, Luis Felipe, who, again, as a centre-back, looks brilliant. 87, uh, Icone, who looks, again, another high pace, high dribbling uh, card. 87, Renan Lodi, who looks pretty good. And 86, Malin, with great pace, good dribbling and shooting, good passing and physical. And an 85, Kerrer, who, again, looks, like, just okay, this team probably isn't quite as good as Team 1, but it definitely has better end game players than Team 1. I think Haaland, Martinez, and Valverde look very, very, very good. Um, Tomori also looks very, very, very good. So let's go and have a look at what we've got going on. So we're going to start with the season objectives. So the Future Stars Ossiemen is there. Uh, we'll go and have a look at his in-game stats in a second, but straight off the bat, like 94 pace, 90 shooting, 88 dribbling, 87 physical looks great um score three goals oh it's a, an upgrade path as well which is great so score three goals using league one players uh you then assist a goal using the Aussie men which you could do in any game mode score three goals using the 79 Aussie men which you could do using any game mode which is brilliant and score using the Aussie men in four separate matches which again you could do in any game mode so you could just do that in friendlies against a friend you score he quits you score he quits you score he quits and then you like do it back for him obviously real nice and that gets you the 82 rated Aussie men uh assist two goals in rivals with the Aussie men score a low driven shot in four separate rivals matches uh which will give you the 85 and the 85 actually looks okay um it'd be interesting to see what his in-game stats are you then need to score six finesse shots Score a header. Well, that is going to take the rest of the season, isn't it? Um, score in nine separate rivals wins. Score two goals in seven separate rivals wins. Jesus. And score 20 goals using Aussie men in rivals. That That is... That's pretty tough. That, that for me, would kind of indicate that EA rate this card. That they're making it far more difficult to attain than, um, than Erdegaard's. And then the Academy Plus is score two goals in seven rivals wins in Division 4 or above. Uh, after that, there's a Future Stars kit. Score two goals in rivals or in squad battles. Please. Oh, are they listening? Is that the greatest news I've seen so far today? The fact that they've put rivals or squad battles in there? Oh, thank God for that. Play four matches in any foot game, win three matches uh, in any foot game mode. That, it's only the first time they've done something like it, but they've done something like it. And I, I, I can't be mad at that. And then milestones. <laughs> I, should, I should stop looking at that, shouldn't I? Um, let's go and have a look then at the uh, SBCs before we get into anything else. What have we got here going on? Kieran Tierney is there. 86 rated. What are his stats like? Three star, three star, high, high. It's, it's a good card. He's got great pace already and very good physicals. He's definitely the best Premier League left back in the game right now, which makes him very exciting for a lot of people. And for me, I can now link him with Robertson team of the year left back as a strong link. Uh, it is three segments, two 85s and an 84. That is going to come in quite expensive for a rare Electrum, a prime Electrum and a rare mixed. The packs back are pretty tragic. 
Um, but that, that that is he is he is the other than Timothy Robertson, he's you know then he's the best left back in in the Premier League, which is great news. Um, and of course, strong links to Martinelli left mid, strong links to Robertson left back. If you want to play one of them at centre back on seven chemistry. There's also, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, Sergio Aguero. I didn't do a video on it earlier because I honestly just think it's way overpriced. It's like 800,000 coins for this Aguero card. Don't get me wrong, it's a great card, but I would much rather spend 800,000 coins on Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar, or spend 500,000 coins on the record breaker Aguero, who is tradable and cheaper and only marginally worse. Like, you're not going to get much out of it. I understand the argument of, oh, I have loads of untradeable cards and not a lot of coins, so this suits me. And if you want to do him, do him. Uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you not to do him. I just personally think it's overpriced uh, for the card that you get. Um, so I, I don't think I'll be doing that. Then there's a Future Stars Challenge pack uh, for a Gold Players pack. That is going to require um, 69 rated squad, 11 rares, max 5 league. You know what that's going to do? That is going to spike the price of right mids, left mids, right backs and left backs um, that are bronze and silver. So go and sell all your bronze and silver rare cards right now. They're going to be very high in price. Um, and then after that, big transfer for Aussie men. Another 50k pack available for dumping all four of it into it. I don't think that this is worthwhile. I don't know what you guys think. But for me personally, uh, yeah, that 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 isn't worth, uh, isn't worth it. And then was there any new league SBCs? No new league SBCs. So, um, what have we got? Is there? Is there? There is. I mean, is there promo packs in store? Of course, there is. There's only 856 left. Jesus, that's surprising. Let's let's pop one. We've got. Okay, they're gone. Which means people are uh, interested. So I'm going to open my 10 saved packs from league SBCs. Uh, RBI, Mr. Watson. Thank you for the resales, bros. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and have a look on Futbin because I heard Futbin's down. So we'll wait till it comes back up, and we'll go and have a look at all the in-game cards of everything that's available. Um, including that Aussie man, who I do think is is pretty good. Um, he looks good anyway. What I'm most interested to see is, now that that Haaland has a 92 card, what's his player of the month going to be? If he wins player of the month, of course, which I assume he will. And what's his team of the season going to be? He has 94 pace, 94 shooting, and 94 physical, with 90 dribbling and 84 passing. His team of the season is going to come in at like, what, 95, 96 rated, He's bound to have like 99 pace shooting and physical, 95 or 6 dribbling, like 90 passing. Um, that would be an absolute mental, mental card. So long as he gets a skill move or weak foot upgrade. I don't know if he necessarily deserves it. Um, but, you know, we, we need the skill moves and weak foot in this game, EA. Uh, hard to link, potentially. Not during team of the season, he won't be hard to link, though. There'll be so many... Uh, Bundesliga players you can link him with Erdegaard obviously you can link him with icons uh, but we'll get into the the prices and the in-game stats of these players uh, in just a second obviously the the 50k packs have expired now uh, Matt Gale Cliche will hold on to um, yeah the 50k packs have expired um, so uh, the 45s and 25s that are there just aren't for me I think unless it's 50s 100s or 125s I'm not going to be opening packs um, in the store um, oh, a Paderborn player in there, which is quite nice. Nothing else in there that's useful to me. Um, we, we are coming to a couple of good packs here. Nothing major. Again, just grinding the league SBCs on this account, just just in the hopes that we hit uh, one of the big cards. But yeah, that Martinez card as well looks brilliant. Um, you know, 92 pace, 91 shooting, 94 physical, uh, 93 dribbling. He's actually very similar to Haaland. Two less pace, three less shooting. Same physical, two less passing, but three more dribbling, which is arguably more valuable. And I believe he's four star, four star as well. Um, and my chat is telling me that these uh, these player prices right now are quite high. I wouldn't expect them to stay high um, for the simple fact that they're not team of the year level cards, yet they're obtaining team of the year level prices, um, which I don't think um, it will, will hold basically. Um, let's get into the small rare mixed players pack and then let's finally go and have a look at uh we're gonna get even one board, no board out of those 10 packs. So let's go, let's go and have a look at what, what these players are saying and uh see who's gonna be good and who's gonna be trash. What do we got for promo packs? Yeah, so I'm not gonna be looking at those. So let's go ahead and get onto Fut Bin and get onto Fut Bin here. And uh we'll go ahead and have a look at the new players. Aussie men. Okay, I don't actually care about those Aussie men cards. I want the 88 Aussie men. And then all of the uh, 
all of the other cards here there, there's a few there's a few good cards that could be quite nice quite cheap uh to play with that harlan card man oh he he does look good i know he doesn't fit the meta with uh certain uh in-game characteristics but he does look good uh and then kieran tierney is the last one so let's go and have a look as as they come out guys so first of all we've got icone he's already 200k and he'll probably drop um good card four star four star a maestro on him makes him a 95 rated cam french and strong links to aussie men that might be worth picking up that card because that is a quality quality card for that cheap really quality so yeah icone looks good because of his links and his uh his like stats now aussie men i don't know how ea calculate that as 94 pace when he has 99 sprint speed and 86 acceleration which is a bit frustrating um a hawk could be really good for him that is really good he's already got 93 agility four star four star Banging physicals, banging finishing, banging pace, or could give him an engine. I don't particularly like that. A dead eye, I don't particularly like that. A marksman could be useful. Great finishing, great physicals, much better dribbling. This is a free card. Remember that. This is a free card. I like this a lot. I think that this is actually a fantastic, fantastic card. And a maestro as well. Great finishing, great dribbling, 95 short passing and 99 sprint speed. I really, really like that card. As far as a free card goes, you can't knock that in any way. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, we've then got uh, Malon. Now, four-star, three-star, which is a bit of a letdown. His pace is great. His positioning is terrible. His composure is pretty low, as are his reactions. Um, this one, for me, just isn't the one. How much is he selling for? 250. Jesus, yeah. This, this for me, is long shots is low. I mean, his shot power isn't, like, ideal. Um, I wouldn't even know what to put on him. A finisher, maybe. To boost that shooting and positioning. A dead eye to boost that positioning right up. But you bo then you've got good pace, good shooting, and good passing. But you can't boost the dribbling. So you'd want a sniper. But with a sniper, you don't boost positioning or, or long shots or shot power enough. Um, but his dribbling becomes absolutely immense. F for me, this is one of those ones. I, I think his price will continue to come down. Obviously, he links to Promes. Tagliafico uh, and Ziyech, right? So he has some value um, in that regard, but I, I I don't particularly think that that's a great card. Uh, we then got Tillemans. Um, Four-star, five-star. As far as Premier League CDMs go, he's definitely up there. He's got good dribbling, great passing, good shooting. You could use him as a good box-to-box -box midfielder. Maybe an engine. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. Perfect passing. Unbelievable dribbling. Good pace. Good shooting and long shots. That, that, that is a really good box-to-box -box midfielder. Medium, medium work rates. Four-star skill with five-star weak foot. I like that card a lot. There's a reason he's up at six, 700k. Um, as far as uh, Premier League players goes, he is fantastic. And he links to a lot of the Belgians that are outside of the Premier League, obviously, as well. Palacios there. 1.5 million coins. Four star, four star. Let me tell you something, guys. If you're paying 1.5 million coins for this card, you've got this game all wrong. However, if you pack this card, please sell him straight away. This card will not retain that kind of price. It's not nearly good enough. In fact, it is quite considerably bang average. Good passing, good dribbling, well-rounded defending and physical. This is not a great card by any stretch. No matter what you do with it, you, you're, you're suffering. Yeah, if, if you get this card, just sell it straight away, guys. Okay, I don't think that's a particularly great card. Um, then Martinez is extinct at 4.4 million. Now, this is a card I can get behind. His finishing shot power and long shots. Sorry, finishing, positioning, and uh, shot power are already great. His pace is good. His dribbling is good. Um, his physicals are great. That is, I mean, his four-star, four-star. You don't want a Hawk. That's a waste. A dead eye is quite good. A hawk does take him to a 96. A basic's probably the one. That is a monster card, that is. You need to improve that uh, dribbling. That is the one. Sniper is the one. With that agility, that balance, composure and reactions, ball control and dribbling is super high. His physicals are already at top tier. His shooting then becomes great. His pace is great. That is a brilliant card. Maybe even an engine. That might be the one, you know. An engine might be absolutely spectacular. 
98 long pass, 91 short pass, 96 vision. Positioning, finishing and shot power already very high. Pace goes up to 97. His dribbling goes up to 98 and his physicals are 94. That is a monster card. I like that card a lot. Uh, you've then got Abdullah Saar coming in at nearly a million coins. Don't pay a million coins for these cards. Uh, I mean, this is a good card, but there are so many cards out there that are similar that are nowhere near worth a million coins. Four star, three star. That three star weak foot lets him down straight away. Um, he has got a good card. A sniper makes him a really good uh, sort of attacking player. Perfect pace. Great dribbling. Very good shooting. Not the greatest passing, so I wouldn't mind boosting his passing myself. Um, probably a dead eye for me, for him, uh, which is is quite good. His strength and aggression is a bit weak. But this is a good card, don't get me wrong. This is another one of those cards that I would say, guys, if you pack him right now, sell him straight away. Uh, I think that would be very, very wise to do. Uh, we've then got Renan Lodi. Now, he's already quite cheap, coming in at under 200k on Xbox and about 300k on PlayStation. As far as a defender goes, an anchor chem style on him makes him a brilliant left back. Competes with uh, Jordi Alba and Furlan Mendy. Four-star skill moves. Um, great passing, unbelievable dribbling. Great pace, great defending, great physical. This is a quality, quality fullback. I don't know how he's that cheap already. This, this is he comes in as one of the best left backs in the game with an anchor chem style. Um, I rate that card a lot. I, I think he's uh, unbelievably cheap. Um, we've then got uh, Harland. Now he's packable in silver packs. He's also extinct at four point six million coins. The downside to this card is he's three star, three star. The upside to this card is he's absolutely bloody amazing, isn't he? He's a 97 rated striker with a sniper. 99 short pass, 96 sprint speeds, near perfect dribbling, basically perfect shooting except for long shots, 98 strength, 95 aggression. This card is unbelievable. Marksman might be even better. Get those long shots up as well. Get those physicals right up. That reactions and dribbling and ball control right up. Maybe even an engine as well. If you really want the dribbling, the pace. Maestro could be the one. Anything could be the one. This this card is just unbelievable. Marksman definitely is, is a big, big boost. But jumping is irrelevant in this game. I think Maestro is probably the one for me. Maestro is a quality card. And then just depends if you really want that boost in pace or not. You could give him an engine or a hawk. But I think that Haaland card is absolutely magnificent. I would never pay 4.6 million for him. Um, I, but it's still a quality card. We then got Olmo. Now, this is one of those cards that I said to you guys, I just don't think is really going to be worth that much. But the fact people are paying a million coins. Well, he's worth a million coins right now. I don't know if people are paying that. Yeah, he's just a good card, right? Not a great card, not an outstanding card. It's just a good card. Good good stamina. Four-star, four-star, which is nice. Another Bundesliga player. Easy to link because he's Spanish. Um, decent stats, but doesn't jump out to me. Uh, Luis Felipe. Now, another defender that's quite cheap here. 94 reactions. 83 short passing is a bit sad. 90 pace, 96 defending, and brilliant physical. Low stamina, but a centre-back, so not the biggest problem in the world. Three star, three star, which is really nice for a centre back as well. That's a quality card. Seventy composure is a little bit of a, a little bit of a turn off. He's got really good agility for a centre back as well. I think that's quite a nice card. Um, we've then got Tamori. Now he's a million coins. His reactions is a bit low. His agility is brilliant. His composure is brilliant. His short passing is brilliant. His pace is brilliant. His defending is very good. His physicals are brilliant. That will be a brilliant card. That I mean, that is a brilliant card. I'd probably go with an anchor still for that pace. That With that high agility and that pace, he will feel like an absolute machine in game. He will feel absolutely brilliant. Um, that That is a top, top card. That is another Premier League centre-back in the fray now as well. Like we, we were just talking on stream before about how the lack of Premier League centre-backs is, is apparent. But that is another brilliant centre-back for this game. Uh, and then Hudson Adoy. Ooh. He's up at a million coins as well. The Dead Eye makes him a really, really like he's got low reactions and composure. He's got low stamina for this stage in the game. The rest of his card is real nice. That just lets it down a little bit. 
Um, I'm not going to say this will be a bad card because I don't think it'll be a bad card at all. I just don't think it's a great card. Four star, three star week for low reactions to composure. I'd be very surprised if it maintains a high a high price. It's not a bad card. I just, uh, yeah, for me, it's just not a great card. We've then got Kere. Five star week for as far as a centre back goes is brilliant. Good pace. Good reactions and composure, but not great. Very good defending. Good physicals. Good short passing. I don't think this would be a super expensive card either, which is why, yep, he's already like under 200k. That makes perfect sense. And then Valverde. Um, wow. That is a quality card. Three star, three star is really sad. But his shot power and long shots are already banging. His passing is maxed out. You don't even need to boost that passing. Crossing, free kick accuracy don't matter. Curve is a bit meh. An anchor on this card makes him one of the best CDMs in the game by far. With how good that passing is, with how good that dribbling would be for a CDM, with his height, that is a quality, quality card. Uh, I, again, I wouldn't necessarily pay 2 million coins for it, but it is a quality card. And then last but not least, guys, we've got Kieran Tierney. So with an anchor, he becomes brilliant. Even a Sentinel, you could probably give him as well. Becomes brilliant. Maybe even a backbone um, to boost that passing. But I think an anchor for me would be the one. Good dribbling, good passing, great defending, great physicals, great pace. Three star, three star, high, high work rates. He'll be, he'll, he will make a fantastic, uh, fantastic uh, left back. Let's see how much his price is coming in at. 240k. It's, it's expensive. But... Because he'll be the second best left back in the Premier League. It's not a, it's, it's not. I wouldn't say it was good value. I just wouldn't say it was bad value either. I, th I think it's a, an, a, a, you know, it's a price that you'd have to pay to get a card that good in 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 the Premier League. Um, so that's where we're at with that. And so that guys is going to be the end of the video. Um, the uh, the future stars is here. It is great. There are a lot of absolutely brilliant cards from the Future Stars Part 2. Um, Haaland, Martinez, uh, Valverde are super, super cards. Their Aussie Men card, I think, is brilliant for the uh, the um, free objective cards. And Tierney as well, I think, is brilliant as well. Um, so that, as we open one pack, is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.